Hi, I'm Kim the Paper Traveler, and I've been making some plans. Um, one of these tags really interests me. It's the end of the year book tag. It's sort of a TBR too, and it lets you know where I am with my reading right now and future plans uh, for the rest of the year and for next year. This tag has six questions, so I wrote them all down in my planner so I can look back onto them and reflect back and see what my answers were and how I do at the end of the year. So I, I thought I would go over this with you to let you know where I am. So let's start with the first question. What are books that you started this year that you need to finish? Well, I have several. I am currently working on two books. I won't go over those books today. I will be talking about those in a wrap-up video. Hope to finish those two this week since I am on vacation. Yay! And <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Been a little overworked. Uh, the next book that I want to finish after I finish those two is Our Share of Night by Mariana Enriquez. This is one I just recently hauled. This is more is a new release also, and it is a sort of cult horror with a historical element and a magical element to it and about a father and a son. So uh, what I've read of it so far, I really enjoyed. I'll pick back up on this after I finish those other two books because it is bigger. I knew it would take me longer, so I want to get those other two out of the way. And the next one is one that I just recently got approved for on NetGalley. It's Lost in the Moment and Found by Shana McGuire. I told myself I wasn't going to read any more books in the Wayward Children series because I, I was kind of getting a little tired of it, but I think I just needed a break from it because some of those books I've really enjoyed and some not so much. So I thought I would give this one a try. It's on that galley and I can get my review of it and tell them what I think and get to read the book for free basically. So that book comes out on January the 10th. So I want to have that one finished by this year, hopefully this month. So we'll see how that goes. Question number two, do you have an autumnal book that transitioned you to the end of the year? Well, this book is one that I had put on previous TBR, I think this year even, and I never did get around to it. And it's First Frost by Sarah Edison Allen. I thought this would be a great book to read this time of year since it's time of frost. We have had a frost here already, but it has not been a hard frost and it didn't kill all my plants yet. So I thought this would be a good time to read this. And also this is kind of a book too of a book that I've read before, uh, her follow-up book to Garden Spells, and it's about the Waverly family, and they have a touch of magic in this family, so I am eager to read this one. I think reading it at this time of year will be great. Question number three, is there a new release you are still waiting for? Well, I've been trying to do better about not buying a lot of books, but there's this book that I've been wanting to read called Legends and Lattes by T Travis Baltry. <sighs> I'm sort of a book snob in the fact of book covers, and I just did not like that book cover at all. It, it reminded me of Shrek. <laughs> I love Shrek, but every time I look at that cover, it reminded me of Shrek. So I was hearing so many good things about this book, so I was getting ready to cave in and go ahead and buy the book. And then I found out that a publisher took on this self-published book and was republishing it. And in the UK, they have this wonderful edition coming out. I'll show it here. Oh, I love that cover. But one thing I really liked about it, and I saw it on someone's channel, on the inside flap, it does show the original cover, which I like that. I just did not want it on the main cover. So, yes, I'm a bit of a book snob there. I'm sorry. I am. But... I've heard great, great things about this. I heard it's sort of a cozy read too. So I definitely want to try to read that one this year. It's coming out this week. Uh, I ordered from the UK, so it'll probably be a couple weeks before I get that one. Question number four, what are books that you want to get read before the end of the year? <sighs> oh, about a hundred of them. But if I have to whittle it down, I'm sadly, I'm very, very sad I didn't reach many of my goals this year. And I apologize for you guys that were trying to follow me to read certain books. But 
I just can't do it. So I had to whittle it down to these books here. And I will be incorporating a few more, hopefully, also. But definitely these. I'm trying to read the books in the Outlander series. And the next one I need to read is book six in the Outlander series, A Breath of Snow and Ashes. This is so shiny. I hope I can show it to you here by Diana Gabaldon. I thought this would be a great time of year to read this book. It reminds me of wintertime with the snowflake on front there. So I definitely want to at least get started on this. They, her books, it's like, I think 970 some pages. And I am a slow reader, so it takes me a while, but I definitely want to try to get a majority of this read this year. I can <laughs> send out SOS signals with this book, I think. Okay, quit playing around with your books. You know, double duty. And this is heavy, so I'm going to put it down. Anyway, there are three more books in this series that I still need to read. She is going to publish at least another book. I don't know how far she's going with the series, so I... That will be a goal for next year. And another book, this actually could have gone on to the books I started and haven't finished yet. Um, and it's Authority by Jeff Vandermeer. This is the second book in the Southern Reach trilogy, the first one being Annihilation. I reread this that book this year and I enjoyed it more the second time around. This one, I put it down because it's not as interesting to me, but I definitely want to read it. This is going more for, they're not out into the wilds like the other book. This is more about uh, interviewing the people. It's a guy interviewing the people that have been there and they're detaining them and uh, some different elements in that. Um, having trouble getting into this a lot. I have read a little, about 40% of this though. So I definitely want to finish this book though and go on to read the third book next year. Another book that I definitely want to get read this year and I have told you guys that I'm hoping to start this in November and it's The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell. I've heard great, great things about this. This is a sci-fi type of book. I really don't know what I'm getting into with this, but I am very interested. So this one is going on my must-reads for this year. Question number five, is there a book you think could still become your favorite book of the year? I'm hoping this one will. I, this is another book I picked up and I put down because I was participating in a readathon or something. So I haven't picked it back up, but I was really enjoying it. And it's The Art of Prophecy by Wesley Chu. I hadn't read very much. You can see just that much right there. But look how many pages already tabbed in it. Now, that's telling you something there. So I'm hoping to really enjoy this book because I am loving it so far. And I oh, love that cover too. Oh, by the way, I'll tell you a little bit about this. This is uh, like a chosen one, you know, the chosen one, one of those tropes, but it uh, has like a, a little bit of comedy in it too. Not a slapstick comedy, but uh, the chosen one is a little flawed and it, it's telling uh, about that so far. I really enjoy it. I love a touch of humor in my fantasy books. Question number six. Have you already started making plans for 2023? Well, this is my planner. It's an 18-month planner and it's running out this year. This is the end of it. And I love keeping track of everything in my planner. So I've already purchased, you can see how skinny these start out. That's how fat I made that one. I've already purchased my planner for 2023. I'm already starting to mark things on the calendar. What I love about these happy planners, you can, isn't this beautiful? You can add page inserts into this and, you know, make your plans there and different things, or you can rip it up if you change your mind. But there are several things that I want to do for 2023. I have a couple of authors that I want to read more from, and I will be doing a, I'll be doing at least a couple of videos toward the end of December, beginning of January, somewhere in there about my generalized reading plans for 2023. But a big thing that I want to do, this is something I've been wanting to do for two to three years. I want to have read fantasy books that I feel like everyone else has read but me. And there is a special list 
that I found online a, a few years ago and I took books that I have already own that I want to read and I'm going to go by this list and I will be doing a special video about that and I just something I really want to do I keep putting it off because I'm intimidated but 2023 is going to be the year I finally, finally do that. I want to get those books read. Another thing that I'm planning on doing, I did away with TBRs this past year because I felt too stressed by them, but I really miss them and I want to try them out again and see if I could stick to them better and I'll be incorporating some of my reading challenges into that. I also started an Alice Hoffman project a couple of years ago and I didn't read very many of those books this past year. I think two or three. So I want to get back up on that project as well and do an update on that toward the summer of next year. So that's sort of roughly what I'm planning for 2023. Uh, do you have any special plans? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear that. And uh, you'll be finding more videos, like I said, toward the end of the year. Well, until then, have a great day. I hope you are enjoying your fall. We have been having a wonderful, wonderful fall here this year, and I am so much enjoying it. And I'm going to get outside and enjoy this weather. Goodbye.